Okay, if you guys remember from the previous video, what I did was I disassembled, I'm in the process of rebuilding the throttle body for a um, L98 uh, tomb port injection Corvette, okay? And one of the things I did was I, I disassembled, I took apart the uh, AICV, which is the idle, uh, the idle valve assembly, okay? And what that assembly comes with is right here, and this is the IAC, so the idle air control sensor is here right which has a valve and it and it regulates the and it senses the uh, the coolant temperature okay now uh, in the process of rebuilding this uh, throttle body what I want to do is remove the sensor okay these are pricey I mean right now this sensor is running around uh, eighty dollars or so if I can salvage this great um, and I'm going to take a look at it if not I'm just going to um, replace it with a new aftermarket part now more than likely it's going to be to my benefit to replace this thing and so what I first need to do though is remember I'm going to uh, completely uh, refurbish or uh, rebuild this so uh, this assembly had a lot of coolant running through it and at one point it got uh, really uh, really dry and dirty and so now comes the second fun part of this and what I'm, I'm doing is I'm taking my adjustable wrench I'm putting this in a vise because I tried to do it by hand and that was disastrous needless to say uh, this thing is on with a lot more pressure uh, two reasons one it's been here for 20 years uh, second is that the this is had had, had basically uh, water and fluid running through it so it, it had a tendency to um, kind of freeze up and everything gets really stiff I did throw in some PB blast on the inside to get it loosened up prior to doing this now I, I did sort of pre-loosen this and so you didn't see me struggling that much right now but uh, you're gonna have to turn it with a lot of force okay going left or as we're, we're doing counterclockwise okay lefty loosey and you're gonna be going this way now I really had to put some uh, some muscle into this thing because it was not easy but after it gave about a quarter of a turn uh, uh, loosened then it actually became really easy to take off and basically what you're doing here is then you can just kind of finish doing it on hand. The other thing too with this thing is, you know, they, they, they put this, you know, they, they put this, um, this basically thread sealer sometimes from the factory and that, that just sometimes just pisses me off because uh, it really tightens things up. And so you can see there's some residual here. Um, this gasket is pretty much shot. You see, it's just kind of crumbling, okay? See, it's just kind of crumbling away and goodbye and uh, and so I'm looking here and you know again this car hasn't been running so I'm not sure if this is really regulating right um, it's out if I'm gonna do the rebuild hey you know what maybe I just uh, fork over the 80 bucks after all I'm rebuilding the throttle body because right now at retail we're talking about 300 bucks and I could get this thing looking brand spanking new uh, replace two sensors at a cost of about a hundred and I'm $200 uh, in the black. So uh, next time, finishing up this rebuild.